Hi, today we're going to uh, recap uh, what we learned about axonometric uh, projection. This axonometric uh, has three things we can do, isometric, diametric, and trimetric. So we already know that this should be 30 degree. So then the reason for this uh, popular usage of this is you can equally see these three sides. So if I turn this around, these never changes. These are all the same size. Starting with the diametric, they are different because of the angle. So this one's 15. So this two side will be equal, but not the top. And this one has all different. So we have, uh, although the length of this could, 15 degree and 45 degree. So we have a 45 degree angle and we know that achieving the 45 is probably the easiest because this one and this one is same right so that means if i do four inches here if i created four inches bottom here then i could create a 45 degree really easy or I'm making the square and then cut it in half this one if this is x that's a 2x right so double the size so that gives us 30 degree and 60 degree. So this one is pretty easy to figure it out too. Let's say you have a uh, two inch mark here, right? And then all you have to do is find the four inch mark right, from that point. And then that's gonna give you 30 degree, right? Okay. How about uh, using the compass? But we're not going to use the projector or the compass just like before. We try to find the other way around. Okay. So you need a two pencil. And you just need a cheapest ruler. Find the exact uh, middle. And you draw the line, right? Good. And then from there, you create a line again, right? So using that point, create a line again. So something's blocking. So I need to go around. Right, so this one needs to be a little bit longer. Uh, it looks like it needs more space. Right, so that is going to be the parts that gives us a degree. Okay, so once you have this, if you just align it. what happened that's how you can easily create a uh, isometric box right good now question is how can I find the diametric from here so we already know we found the 30 degree and there's a line connected there and there right so all you have to do is find the half point. So you use this place. Okay, here's my pencil. And then go like that. And then find this place. And then go. And then there's a meeting point. And that will give us So by doing that, you can uh, see if I do this here, right? See how your box will be lower. Okay, the angle is. So that's how you create a uh, 15 degree. 
right? Or if you have, let's say, three inch here and three inch there, remember that will create a 45 degree, right? So if you want to create a uh, 15 degree, all you have to do is find the, let's say, I'd like to see the length of it, right? If this is about two inch, if I can find the one inch, right? So that's about two inch. If I find the place that's one inch, right? inch so it's slightly in okay so if this is a 30 then you will get 50 so just combining the 45 degree angle and the 30 divide right to triangle and to find the 50 so either way the best way to do is once you figure it out what do you do you just simply make the card giving you different degrees right and then you can use that as a template for everything I right, saw so budget-friendly way to find the degrees to create a isometric uh, angles uh, diametric trimetric and uh, creating the boxes out of it uh, using the simple grids system so eventually uh, I want everyone to create something like this so you can use it over and over again